Hello there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, exciting little project. Um, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please click the like button and subscribe. It's really appreciated. Yes, a lovely little project just for this time of year. I've given myself a nice little project which I'm going to get on with over the Christmas and new year uh, this is for me it's not for anyone else this is for me or more importantly it's not actually it's for the most important person in my life my granddaughter so i'm going to make a really nice all singing all dancing cabin bed um designed a little bit with in conjunction with my daughter um she's going to be four in end of january so i'm going to make her a really nice uh uh, cabin bed. Now there is some history to this because uh, I all my three children who are adults, all grown up, gone, left the nest, living their own lives, living their best lives, brilliant. I made over the years. I've made all their beds when they were younger, various single beds, then cabin beds, and then adventure beds, and all sorts of stuff. They've gone. I haven't got them anymore. I don't know what happened to them. It's a shame, really, because I've made so much furniture over my life at various points in, 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 in various houses that I've lived in and various chapters. And I'm sure many of you out there have done the same. Well, I made my granddaughter last year, which I never filmed. I made her a really nice single bed, did some really nice carving into it and all of that stuff. Uh, did some really personalised carving on the headboard and things. So just a nice single bed I made for her, which is in my house. Uh, but I never filmed it. Um, as I often don't, there's lots of things I don't film because otherwise we'd just be overrun with stuff. But... I'm going to film this. I'm going to make a really nice cabin bed. So it's a really nice, interesting project. Um, and maybe, you know, you'd like to get out there and do something like this or something similar. Now, you can go and buy. There's tons of them on the market. Ikea being one and lots of companies where you can go and buy dens, beds, perfect for little girls or for little boys. Uh, but if you can make it yourself, is it is it more cost effective? No, <laughs> it's going to be cheaper if I went and less time consuming. But you know what? Sometimes it's, a, it's not about that. It's not about the monetary value that we're saving money. It's about it's that that love, isn't it? That connection and that, that you're doing something really, really special uh, for which I always want to do for my family and my friends and, and the people who are in my life. I, I love doing things for people. So uh and uh, as I've made all my children, and I'm now into grandchildren, made their beds, so it may as well carry on, mightn't it? So that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be making a cabin bed, and uh, let's see. It physically won't fit in this workshop. <laughs> it simply won't. And yeah, I'm going to make it in here. <laughs> How do I do it? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Been getting over a cold that many of us have had. How do I do so? Well, I've made some really big stuff in here, I know, but I just have to use the outside spaces. Size doesn't need to inhibit you in anything. <laughs> it's all about the desire to do it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a really nice cabin bed. Let's see how it goes. It's going to evolve, I'm sure, because I haven't got. I don't. I don't build to designs and plans. It's all in here. I just make it. I just sort of know how to make it, and then I go, "Oh, that'd be nice. Let's do that." So that's where we're going to go with this, and I'm going to make a really nice bed. First thing I'm doing as uh, I make this bed, as is important with all things, is getting your marking out. So I'm just going to show you all the marking out and stuff the spacings um, this is going to be a standard single bed size so the slats are going to be 90.5 centimeters 905 905 millimeters for a standard single uk mattress um, as you can see there we have this will be the there will be the posts that these will sit on so that's the width there the bedside will be there you can see the brackets and that will come obviously this way well I think you can work that out. They will sit there. So we need a nice little spacing there of 30 millimeters for these particular brackets. You can see there. Um, here is the headboard post again. That will be at that width. It'll be at that width, as you can see. And the bed will go. So this is the width of the bed. 
and it's important to get your spacings because when we make the headboards ends and the footboard end it needs to be these exact dimensions that's the internal for the slats so that's the internal the mattress size is crucial once you've got your mattress size then you can work out where the bed rails the bed rails are going to go the sides uh, to support all the slats and and how the spacings go we now got the marking out of the uprights for the headboard this is the headboard end because it's taller um, and the foot end of the bed so you can see where the mattress is going to run which is where those brackets are going to come down to so in this case uh, that is about uh, in my case this is like a cabin bed it's not like a bunk bed side a bunk bed size would be sort of up here uh, you would have the the mattress whereas I've dropped it so it's about a meter um, so there you can see and then you've got the safety rails where the safety rails are going to go round um, at that height so this is the footboard end so the mattress will sit up there and in my case let me just measure that there you go you can see the mattress and it is a, a meter ten uh, off the ground so a little den and go underneath storage all sorts of stuff you could make under here so that's how high the actual mattress is going to be off the floor obviously a ladder will go up to it um so but that's where how how high headboard end need the headboard end to be bigger because obviously you've got your headboard and we'll make a really nice headboard at the back with all sorts of stuff footboard foot end less so there we go that's some of you starting the markings out So these end panels, which is the headboard and the footboard end, I am, it's going to be one big solid uh, panel. So to make that uh, the appropriate width, I've got these pine boards and I'm laminating them together. So putting them together, joining them up to make it much, much bigger. So to do that, as you've just seen, I am biscuit jointing it. So there's my biscuit jointer. There's my biscuits and you can see all the various grooves in there uh, no that wasn't very helpful was it and you can see one there as well and i've marked it correspondingly so now i can actually glue it up using a biscuit joint and you can see there uh, and this one we've got some biscuits sitting in there haven't glued anything yet but that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to do so it's just occurred to me that some of you, I've just been talking about biscuit jointing, and some of you might actually not know, I'm not, I don't want to assume that everybody knows what a biscuit joint is. So I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration, and I'll probably do a video around it, even though there's plenty of videos around it, but I'll do one for me, for my channel. So it comes from because you, you joint it with these little biscuits. There you go. They look like little nice little biscuits you'd get with your coffee, don't you? Don't taste that good. <laughs> Not very edible. So what you do with your biscuit jointer, you effectively, you can see in there, there's a blade in there and you push that in, you set that joint and you push it in and it cuts in there 
and you can see here's one I made earlier we've got a number of biscuits here so you can see it cuts a little groove that's not center because I was just setting it up but essentially then you glue you put your little biscuit in there you go you got your biscuit and that goes inside and then you glue up and it creates a really nice strong joint so if you're joining big panels or different bits many ways of doing joints isn't there but that's a biscuit joint so uh perhaps i'll do an actual exclusive video around biscuit joints who knows So just continuing the bed um, I've just cut a heart that's a window a heart window at one end of the bed so you can peer through it um, I didn't film it because my battery my phone died <laughs> so uh, um, so it's been on charge and I thought well okay you get the point don't you um, I've cut that out I've scribed it out I've actually got templates so where is my heart hang on a second there you go one heart um gotta hold it back because it's quite big um at arm's length i ain't got a long enough arms just about so there you go that is just yeah just draw around it and then cut it out i jigsawed that out and i am going to cut in uh, lots of really inspirational phrases so that one says follow your heart and there's some hearts rather abstract hearts hearts will be the theme on this There's going to be heart windows hearts around all over the place i'm going to put some hearts on there and you can see where we're going with that
So just put two more stencils. This is the headboard end. Never, never, never give up and you are loved. Um, got them square? I think so, yeah. So we're just gonna mark those out. the first <laughs> I started this project the cabin bed uh, during the Christmas season during between Christmas and New Year <laughs> will it hold the record for the longest project I've done <laughs> not yet uh, but I've been fitting it in as, you, as I, I think I said I've been fitting it in between everything else because this is a personal project rather than a customer paid project so uh, um, so everything it just has to fit in doesn't it <laughs> so i'm gonna get back on it february the first it's a lovely day as they say a lovely day in the neighborhood what was that that was um mr rogers is that right the film mr rogers with tom hanks i've never ever seen the original mr rogers some of you <laughs> uh, may be able to uh, point me in the right direction on there but i'm only going on my very limited <laughs> uh knowledge of a film that I, I watched and it was lovely. So a lovely day in the neighborhood <laughs> and it sure is. Anyway, where am I going on about? Why am I talking about Mr. Rogers here when I've never even watched it? <laughs> I'm gonna carry on with the cabin bed. So let's do it. <laughs> So the next little bit that I've just been cut in is the side rails. So uh, standard standard size UK bed is what I'm making. These are 190 centimeters, 1900 uh, millimeters, 1900 mil. So 190 centimeters, which would then be a standard size. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we just cut these, and these are the supports to. Uh, uh, cut these bit two by one which will be screwed in there glued and screwed nice and strong which will then create the, uh, the support for the slats that go across um, for the mattress so that's what it's nice nice little simple little task so I've just made some uh, little marks there you can see pencil marks seven centimeters 70 mil we've got some there that I can just line up that's from the top so the mattress is going to be this side this is the top so mattress this side uh, coming out and the mattress will obviously come up to about here. Uh, but you need to set that back so you can get your mattress and it's nice and snug. It doesn't go anywhere. You can see a couple of marks all at 70 mil and I'll just secure that. So I've glued and screwed. I put quite a lot of screws in, as you can see, because, uh, well, 
little people often bounce on beds, don't they? <laughs> the song, No More Monkeys Bouncing on the Bed. <laughs> Who knows that one? Anyway, <laughs> you, you get my, uh, you get why I'm reinforcing this because uh, obviously sitting there and as, as, she, as she gets older, uh, friends and all sorts of people sitting on the bed and it becomes a, a place of safety and all sorts of things. So it needs to be nice and strong. Anyway, that's my, uh, that's my thinking behind that. Glued and screwed, well and truly. So I just had to trim that back. Uh, I've just cut it too long. Uh, we need to make space for the brackets, don't we? These are the brackets I'm using. So uh, just trim that back, it wasn't easy. Easy to cut back if you've done too long. If it's done too short, <laughs> you start again, don't you? But uh, that's okay. Or, uh, I measured it correct, it's just that I didn't measure it correct because I forgot to take off this. Uh, to allow for the brackets but there you go that is the brackets i'm using and i will put a link if i remember uh, and that goes on the extra headboard which you'll see in a minute but i'm going to put a link here they are uh, all the bits of hardware uh at the end in the in yeah i'll put a link in the details uh, at the end of the video so so brackets are on and just going over there you can see brackets for and the connectors that go on the ends so we're going to just assemble the bed or start to i mean there's still a lot to do uh, because it's going to be all sorts of stuff underneath but these are the the main uh, center uh, cross rails aren't they the bed rails at the moment right starting to look like a bed there we go we've got the headboard um we've got to do all the underneath yet but um Looking at it, not bad, and a little window that will be on inside the uh, uh, the play area underneath the bed. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to biscuit join the side panels to the cross uh, rail, the bed, the bed uh, that connects the two foot. I can't, I can't think what it's called. <laughs> to the headboard and the footboard. So that's going to go across here, and these are the end panels uh, for the end, which is going to be like a little play area underneath the bed. So you've got a little heart window. Um, so I'm going to biscuit joint these to those. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> mm. So there we go. We're just gluing up this side panel, which will go in. And then that will fix in nicely. So that's the next section of how we're building this. Back on the bed, it's February the 8th. <laughs> it continues to be a long project, fitting it in. Um, yeah, started it at Christmas, didn't I? <laughs> Christmas is a dim memory now. We don't want to think about Christmas. Um, yeah, right, I'm just gonna show you where I've got to. Uh, I've fitted essentially the sides, and now I'm gonna start making the shelf unit, which is gonna go underneath before I make the ladder and all the other bits. So uh, I'm just gonna show you where we're at. So there's the, they've been glued, they've been laminated, they've been biscuit jointed, the sides, and you can see the sides there. So it's nice and support. I've actually lifted my weight up and tried to do some parallel bars with it. So it's certainly strong enough to take my weight. Um, now we're gonna have a shelf unit that's gonna be in here, and obviously the ladder will be here. We've got the rails to make yet, the safety rails and all that stuff. But coming along nicely, Nice little windows. So that's the bed. Let's get, make the shelf unit.
is the shelving in just sitting there. Obviously, all of this has to be come apart, so all of these sit in. Um, can't be one big solid thing because you simply wouldn't get it up. It has to all be able to come apart and then fix together. So it's essentially all modular, and that's why I'm making it. Um, so that's the shelving, the little shelving unit inside. Right, the ladder. I'm making a wooden ladder. <laughs> right, we've got the uprights. There we go. And we've got the rungs. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got seven. It proves I can count only just. Can't count beyond 10 though. <laughs> That'd be bragging, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. Uh, we're going to just put this together, uh, make a nice little ladder. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm doweling, I'm screwing, down, gluing, doweling, and then it'll all be clean. Um, it's just a nice throw. I could uh, mess around and do all sorts of mortise and tenons. You know I can do that. But in this instant, I'm just screwing and doweling and, gl and gluing. All right, so that's how we're going to do this one. Um, it's all that's needed for this. So let's get on with it. And so there we have a finished bed. Nicely done. Give a little look around. That's the headboard back in the sun. Coming around the back, which will go against the wall. And we have nice carving. And then underneath, we have the shelves. Uh, 
and a little place to play underneath the bed nice place to play have a den really safe space and a nice little ladder to get up So that's a nice cabin bed I've made. She'll love it. <laughs> How many years do you think she'll get out of that? Until pink is not a good colour. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that is a cabin build bed and uh, uh, really appreciate you watching. So if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe and click the like button. If you like the video, please click. It's quite a long one, this one, but it's quite a lot of detail in how we built it. So from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures, you take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.